Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shochinandan Dotto from Eco Learning. Learning. So today we will talk about the population genetics. So population genetics is the study of the variation in allele and variation in genotype within the gene pool of a population and how this varies from generation to generation. Okay, and it is also part of the evolutionary biology. So as we know the variation leads to evolution. So the, what the uh, changes in the allele frequency in a population means the variation in the population that leads to evolution. Now talk about the what the factor that cause the genotype frequency changes that cause the allele frequency changes in a population the selection mutation mutation means the change migration means the movement of gene across the population recombination non-random mating and the random genetic dip so these are the factor that cause the genetic frequency changes in the population now talk about the Hardinger principle so Hardinger principle is a very important uh, thing in our important principle in population genetics so Hardy was an English mathematician and Wingberg was a German physician so these two scientists built this Hardinger principle or Hardinger law or Hardinger equation and they state that the allele or genotype frequency in a population so allele frequency or genotype frequency in a population will remain constant will remain constant from generation to generation in the absence of evolutionary influences so what the evolutionary influences let's see here the sexual selection so absence of evolution influences means there will be no sexual selection population size must be large no mutation no migration and no natural selection if this condition will be fulfilled then the allele frequency or genotype frequency in a population remain constant from generation to generation this is harding bird principle now talk about the mathematical equation of the harding bird principle so harding bird principle is saying that in a population so here the two traits one is the really dominant allele that is the capital a and one is the recessive allele that is the small a so what the frequency of this dominant allele in a population or what the frequency of the recessive allele in a population so if the population uh, in, in individual or uh, in a population the individual or the 10,000 so what the frequency or the how many number of individual have this dominant allele and how many individual in the population have this recessive allele so this is the harding principle and they state that the frequency of these two allele will be remain constant so p plus q is equal to one so if the population is either p or either q so p is equal to one minus q or q is equal to one minus p and if in in a combination of these two things so that's p plus q the whole square is equal to one so that state that p square plus two p q and q square so what does it mean p square means double p p p means it's an dominant homozygous trait and two p q means a heterozygous trait so it's an heterozygous trait and q q means double q man it's an recessive homozygous trait okay and this thing that p plus q is equal to one or the frequency of the two allele remain constant in the population well uh, then there will be no evolution okay there will be zero evolution so that the five condition i have already told in the last slide so the, when this fulfill the five condition then this frequency of allele will be remain constant but in reality that is not possible so the that this five condition or that the population is should be large no natural selection that so this five condition is it, it's not easy not not happening in a natural population so this uh, this this Harding wave principle is theoretical or mathematical. It's true, but in natural population, this five condition could not be fulfilled at the same time. So it's it's a model, and this model gives us the gives us the how the population is evolved. So for the Harding wave principle give of the uh, give us the uh, evolution consequences of that particular population. 
Now uh, here we uh, see the graphical representation of the Harding board equation. Then we can see that 2 pq and p, p square or q square is plotted in a population. Then we can see that this type of behavior they are showing. And we have seen a very good example. Then if we see that 6% of uh, the population that display the brown eyes and this brown eyes is a recessive trait. Okay, that's a capital E. So the question is uh, what the frequency of the genotype EE means that it's a heterozygous condition. So EE means a capital E small is mean it's required a heterozygous condition in the population. So this we need. So 6% uh, recessive gene means the Q. So Q square is equal to 6% mean is the 0 0.06. So if the Q is 0. Point square of it is means 0. 0.24. And according to Harding in principle, so P plus Q is equal to no, we know it. So Q, if Q is equal to 0. 0.24, then P is equal to 0. 0.74. And we need the heterogeneous condition, so uh, capital E small e. So we need the 2 PQ. Then we can calculate easily the what the frequency of the genotype heterogeneous condition in the population. So that would be 0 0.36. Now we'll talk about the genetic drift. Genetic drift is also an important factor in the population genetic, important subject in population genetics. So genetic drift is uh, as a result of random fluctuation. So random fluctuation in the transfer of allele so transfer of allele on generation to the next generation and it happen in a small population so let's see here is in example if in a population the frequency of p that's a dominant uh, trait is in replaced in showing in a uh, green one and uh, uh, a recessive trait that's a q that uh, represent in a red ball so if we see that population according to time according to the evolution consequences happening the, the frequency of the p is increasing 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 and it's increased from 0 0.5 to 1 and when is uh, whenever the q we can see that that frequency of uh, this uh, recessive allele is decreasing 0 0.5 to it's 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 almost so lost from the population so one uh, is dominant allele is uh, dominating and the recessive whenever it is happening so if we plot this thing in a graphical represent then we see that in at, at the initially the frequency of the recessive or dominant will be the same that 0 0.5 and according to time goes of uh, the evolution going on the dominant allele is increasing and it increase up to one and whenever the do, recessive trait is decreased decrease and it decreases up to zero so it's saying that it's it's a very easily we can conclude that the, these two trait uh, are drifting from each other drifting from each other so this is the genetic drift okay now we'll talk about the bottleneck effect bottleneck effect is also one kind of genetical drift so it's the changes in allele frequency so following the dramatic reduction in the population size so bottle neck so we know that each and every bottle have a neck and that neck region of the bottle is a very narrow okay so it's it's showing that the allele frequency in a population that dramatic reduction in the allele frequency and that caused to the lots of environmental factor and cause maybe lots of human factor so environmental factor it could be the climate change or different environmental causes and uh, human cause it could, could be the hunting it could be the over exploitation so due to this cause the population of a particular uh, region that could be reduction drastically and it is a very good example of bottleneck effect the northern elephant seal in west coast of us and canada and the cheetah population in africa and we can see that uh, in a, a northern elephant seal the at beginning time at uh, at 1800 or uh, late 18 uh, or the mid of the 1800 the population of elephant seal is uh, very high it's almost uh, greater than one lakh population will be there but there will be due to this human hunting or the natural or the environmental factor that hunting and over exploitation that cause a huge drastic fall drastic reduction in the population that the uh, northern an elephant seal population will be in 20 only 20 individual there in late 19th century okay and so that the population goes from the narrow region of the bottle that's the neck region of the bottle and then the human thing that we need to conserve it we need to protect it so then the us and canada government gave a huge conservation effort on this uh, northern california uh, elephant seal 
and after the conservation effort the population is increased up to 30,000 so and and the thing is that during the the population is going to the this narrow region of the bottle or the neck region of the bottle that the the trade that the blue that the allele frequency of this particular population is going to the next population is the is, is that trait is going to this next population so blue trait is shifting to the next uh, population so the, the so that is the factor is the uh, called is bottleneck effect and here is a very important thing is that that in the bottleneck effect that it could be the drastically fall of the population or it could be the extent of the population or it could be recovery of the population so it could be recovery or it could be extinct so there is is a northern elephant seal you can see the example it's an it's a recovered population now talk about the founder effect founder effect is also one kind of genetical drift so founder effect is a loss of genetical variation that occur when a small group of individual is separated from large group so you can see here is a large group of uh, a population is shifting to a small group of population and this 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 small group of population the, the frequency of allele will be changed from the large population to the small population so that is the founder effect so whatever the population shifting from this small population in in this small population they are the founder they are the founder population so it's a geographical separation of a population of a subset of the population so the concept of founder effect is first discovered by the Ernst Meyer famous uh, evolution biologist or uh, famous biogeographer and in late in 1940s and he discovered this concept founder effect and here is a very good uh, famous example of the founder effect is uh, the population of the dutch settlement in south africa so african population of dutch they are settled in south africa and in this uh, dutch population in the, in the founder dutch population they have the high frequency of this hunting tone the high frequency of this allele or gene that cause the hunting tone disease okay so nowadays at present the all the african population who are uh, who are in uh, south african population who, who are the original population of this dart that the founder population now they they have a very high frequency of this hunting tone disease because the original founder population have this allele have this uh, high allele in in, 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 uh, in the cause of the hunting tone disease so that is the founder effect so that's all about the population genetics so thank you for listening uh, this video and please like uh, the video and subscribe our channel and uh, hit the share button and also uh, press the bell icon to take the future video from our channel. Thank you.